Hello guys, Greg back with another video. So it's New Year's Eve 2014, so Happy New Year to all of you. Um, just wanted to say before we get into the video, a massive thanks to anyone that's taken the time out of their day to watch any of my videos, comment or subscribe to my channel. It's the thing that keeps me going, all of the support and all of the great comments. So thanks ever so much for that. So this video is actually going to be a tag response video for my good friend Chad. Chad's channel is The Everyday Man, I'm sure most of you will know Chad, so I'll put a link below for Chad's channel and also for the original video in this tag series. Chad, I have to apologise, this has taken me about six months to respond to this, um, but you know the reasons why that is. So this is the five fragrances we most like on our significant others, so in my case the five fragrances that I most like to smell on my wife. So number five we've got this one, and this is Mark Jacobs Daisy Oh So Fresh. This one's um, it's just a really pleasant fragrance, really inoffensive. It's nothing groundbreaking, really. It's just a very pleasant smell. It's, um, it's a fruity floral fragrance. I get sort of raspberry pear grapefruit from this one, but really, really like it. As I said, nothing spectacular, but just a very nice, fresh, clean scent. Number four, um, this is one that actually used to be mine, um, but it does smell a lot better on my wife than it does on me. And you'd all recognise this one. This is Bulgari Black. So this one, as most of you probably know, it's got this kind of unique rubber accord. It almost smells like um, a new car tyre. But it's a very leathery fragrance as well. Um, now, there's a ton of vanilla in this. It doesn't, the vanilla doesn't come through until about an hour in, but um, there's a lot of vanilla. It really forms the base of the fragrance, and it actually reminds me a lot of Lamal, the base of this. I haven't actually heard anyone else say that, so it could just be me making that comparison. Um, but this one here is compared a lot to another fragrance which actually happens to be the number three fragrance on this list and that is Midnight in Paris by Van Cleef and Arpels so this one's the EDP version there's also an EDT now I've been told that the EDP has been discontinued I can't confirm if that's true or not I'm not sure um, but again this one's a leathery fragrance I get a lot of benzoin and a lot of tea from this there's also a lot of tonga and incense in here um, very nice fragrance once again, but once again one that smells a lot better on my wife than it does on myself. Um, I don't long own either Bulgari Black or Midnight in Paris myself anymore, but my wife's got a couple of bottles of each of those. Um, so, number two on the list. Um, this is one that my wife's loved for ages, um, and I finally got around to buying it for, to, for her for Christmas this year. And this is Miss Dior, um, and this is the EDT version. Now this one's a floral sheep it's got neroli in here, um, Damascus rose and Indian patchouli. Very classy composition this one from, from Fra Francis Demarchi, de who um, is definitely one of my favourite perfumers and made some of my favourite male fragrances. So that's number two on the list and that's Miss Dior, obviously by Christian Dior. And finally the favourite fragrance of mine that I like to, or rather my wife's, that I like to smell on her, um, from the house of Thierry Mugler. And this one is Angel. Uh, and this one again is an EDT version. A lot of similarities to my nose to the actual uh, men's fragrance Amen. But this one's less harsh and, and more enjoyable. I'd actually wear this and have worn this myself. I think it's very unisex. Um, to my nose the key components of this one are patchouli, um, chocolate, vanilla and musk. And this one's got some real lasting power. Um, lasts all day when my wife wears that and I really, really enjoy that one. So, um, I need to tag someone for this video, so I'm going to tag another UK reviewer. Um, I'm going to tag Rob. Rob's channel is Robert Armstrong 78 and I'll leave a link below for Rob's channel as well. So there you go guys, that's the end of the video. Um, thanks a lot Chad for tagging me. That's, sorry again for taking so long to get around to do the video. Um, again, Happy New Year to all of you. Hope you have a great time. Stay safe, enjoy yourselves and I'll see you soon. Cheers.